Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have is the Friday the 12th of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the Apple, download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so FTSE at the moment is currently making uh, potentially new lows again, or retesting those year lows from yesterday again. S&P certainly just closed the cap. Uh, amazing, amazing sell-off uh, certainly uh, on mass at present. Uh, in motion okay so please be sure to visit cfds as well certainly take advantage of that bonus okay uh, in terms of the markets overnight we had quite an impressive uh, short squeeze in the back of uh, china obviously moving higher uh, u.s markets as well talk of uh, potential uh, trump and z meeting together that certainly triggered a short squeeze also with regards to the turkish situation de-escalating as well that certainly helped risk sentiment too Okay, now in terms of the markets today, in terms of fundamentals, uh, Chinese data certainly came in stronger than expected overnight, so that certainly did help risk as well, exports better than expected, although obviously uh, given the fact that it certainly alleviated concerns, imports, exports stronger than expected. In terms of Eurozone, uh, inflation numbers came in more or less in line for Germany. Uh, in terms of European industrial production numbers, they actually came in better than expected to everybody's surprise. And that certainly helped the European indices push higher. Subsequently, the markets have actually still gone into a swoon, given the fact that there's ongoing concerns regarding the Italy, Italian uh, debt situation, the fiscal situation, obviously the fiscal uh, stance versus uh, European Union. Okay, so uh, that's basically uh, where we stand. Okay, so uh, certainly uh, that's where basically... Uh, okay, now in terms of the technical picture, let's look into the technical aspect of this. Okay, so... Uh, the German DAX is really the uh, summation, really, given the fact that we did actually gap higher initially. That gap certainly was faded and uh, certainly uh, was negated, as you can see here, gap higher. We attempted to close the gap at 11.712, and the market certainly subsequently has actually closed that gap, as you can see here. We actually paid trade slightly below, uh, going back into support 11.520. After hours, the uh, the actual uh, DAX is trading at 11.450 now, so quite a subs substantial sell-off after hours again so certainly a, a cause for concern there okay so watch out for the daily chart again i mean we're still uh, certainly uh, obviously uh, the market's certainly skydiving here given the fact that the next support is now seen 11.480 then you got support 11.414 on the uh, german dax okay going to your weekly chart really i think it's all about weekly chart you got the 200 ma around the 11.450 zone so, so again watching for our chart for a potential short squeeze there that's basically what I'd be uh, watching out for. In terms of French CAC, okay, so again, we flushed. Uh, the market pushed higher, but again, we negated that. The next potential support is seen at 5050 now, so watch out below on the uh, daily chart, 60 minute chart as well, obviously making lower lows. Certainly uh, not very healthy sign given the fact that we did gap high and the market closed that gap and obviously pushed even lower. So that certainly is uh, certainly something to be worried about. FTSE 100 again gapped higher, hit that pivot high of 7070 until it actually uh, gave back all its gains. Uh, currently testing the 6960 zone, uh, 60 minute chart certainly isn't looking very healthy at all. Testing that 6960, 6950 zone. Daily chart at the moment you do have support uh, at the 6970. Then you've got 6940, and then ultimately you've got 688. So again, that certainly isn't looking healthy at present. So watch out for that potential zone and look for a potential reversal there as well. Okay, so that's basically where we stand in terms of the markets. Then uh, from a technical picture, not looking very healthy. From a fundamental picture, certainly some concerns have been related, alleviated, although uh, the Trump and China Z, Z meeting certainly has been negated after hours. So again, that certainly is another question altogether, or certainly there's another problem altogether, shall we say. So, ongoing concerns regarding Italy, ongoing concerns with the Sino US trade war, uh, and ongoing concerns regarding the so called yield curve. We did have one of the Fed members today as well, certainly, uh, or, shall we say, parroting the uh, same hawkish stance. Uh, again, that certainly is a, a, another topic altogether. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of that bonus uh, as well with CFDs.com and uh, wish you the best in terms of the next week's trading session. Goodbye now.